Hi, I'm Eka from The Artisan. Today I'd like to talk about architectural design in virtual reality. Virtual reality technology is developing rapidly and has already found many uses in various fields. Here at The Artisan, we use real-time rendered virtual reality to create immersive and interactive architectural visualization experiences. Architectural virtual reality is an amazing tool because it allows you to create a one-to-one -one replica of your project before it's constructed, allowing you to effectively communicate your architectural ideas and everything from scale and massing to detailed components and materiality. I would like to show you how you can not only visualize projects in virtual reality but actually design them. We'll be showing you a quick demo of how we use the HTC Vive and the Unreal Engine's V Editor to do exactly that. I come from an architectural background and when I started my studies I quickly noticed the difficulty in converting my intuitive understanding of spaces into scale drawings. I think we all know from my everyday experience how high is a desk, how big is a door, or whether a space feels small or generous. To translate this into a project you would usually need to know the exact dimensions of the elements, requiring you to either measure them or use common practices. I think sometimes this can make designing spaces more difficult and constrained because you are relying on your interpretation of dimensional representations of intuitive experiences. As designers, we are used to thinking in planar views like plans and sections. Virtual reality allows us to take a step directly into design and really engage with the space from a user's perspective. I think the main benefit of designing virtual reality is that it's much less constrained compared to 3D modeling packages, which makes it a great tool for both conceptual design and detailed development. The motion controllers are intuitive and flexible input devices that allow you to create spaces and elements around you in an unconstrained way. You can use your entire body as part of the design and create the space around you. It's a very quick way to check the proportions of a space and how it feels in human scale. Designing within virtual reality is the next step forward in 3D modeling and the ways in which designing in first person from within the space can benefit the design process are numerous. It's a great way to test out complicated ideas and also communicate them very quickly and intuitively as you can quite literally put someone else inside your mind's eye and they can walk around the virtual environment that you have imagined and created. This can be very rewarding and highlight important aspects of the project that were previously not thought about, especially when designing spaces with complicated arrangements or unique components like stairs and furniture. You can also apply different materials directly in the scene to test out the relationships between lighting, materiality and scale. In this case, the base geometry was exported from Revit, and once we are finished we can import the virtual reality design back into our BIM model. We started the design with very basic components, but you can add to the scene and develop it further with more detailed elements, textures and lighting. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter to keep up to date with our latest architectural virtual reality projects. You can also find a link to the full design video below. Until next time.